It's been three days now since you left. Look, is this really necessary? I mean, I already told all this to the, uh, the precinct detectives. I'm afraid so, Mr. Patterson. You're with the squad now. Look, just one more time. My daughter, Caitlin, where is she? Oh, she's fine. She's right outside here, sir. She's gonna be okay. Now, tell us about your wife. What happened to that? We were at dinner. It was, uh, on Tuesday the 25th. There had been some strain in the marriage of late. You see, I didn't get the partnership, and, uh, and Maddie had to go back to work full-time. Now, Maddie barely ate. She was, uh, unhappy with Caitlin's daycare and uh, the new pressures at work, you know, and at, and at one moment she just uh, got up and left. And by the time I got out to the sidewalk, she was already gone. Well, it says here that you hailed a cab, you went home. You didn't file an MP report for 17 hours. <laughs> Forgive me, sir, but your wife disappears on the streets of New York. You react by hailing a checker? That's strange. No, she had done... This had happened before. What had? The arguments. And, and you see, Maddie didn't like confrontation, so whenever we would argue, she'd just get up and leave. But she always just went to her friend's house. She would spend the night there, she'd cool off, and she'd come back in the morning all smiles. But not this time. No. And the next morning, I, uh, I called her friend Liz, and she said that she hadn't seen her in a couple of days. So I got Maddie's phone book, I called everybody that she knew, and nobody had seen her. And that's when I panicked, and I dialed 911. What happened after that? Nothing. And she never showed up at work. And, uh, you know, I've checked all of her clothes and nothing seems to be missing, as far as I can tell. She's, she's just gone. She's got swallowed up. Oh, God, I'm really scared. <laughs> People call this town a lot of things. The apple, the onion, and the city that never sleeps. But we work the missing person squad of the NYPD. And we call it the disappearance capital of the world. And we got missing persons. The precinct. Get us a show 48 hours, then we'll take it. If they're between 18 and 65, we don't get involved unless it's foul play. Every year, more than 16,000 people get lost here. Enough to make up a good-sized Midwestern town. 95% come back within a month, but the other 5% simply vanish. All right. We've got a hit on the Sanford kid. She's in Georgia. Parental abduction, stepfather's in custody, mother's on the way down, and it counts, yes! Okay, so maybe you gotta be a few slices short of a pizza to work here. But I'll tell you something. I take it any day over the rotating door. What, I grab some predicate felon, I drag him into the courts, and then I watch him walk. No way. You give me one case where I can put a lost little girl next to her mother. And you have made my decade. I need a favor, kiddo. I'm just going down to the factory with my dad's being walker. Okay, but I have to finish the Q&A on this Patterson case. And, well, this little girl is crying for her mommy. I thought the matron can't handle it. Maybe you could, you know. Sure, why not? Oh, hey, 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 Marco. Forgive me, but we've been here a week now, and I can't help but wonder it. What? How come a guy who's got a picture of Malcolm X on his desk is down in a squash racket? <laughs> hey, hey, I, I thought you people were into b-ball. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Coming from a man with a cholesterol level tipping what? 450? You know what I from what I can see, Lou? You ain't done no exercise since Frankie Valley only had two seasons. Well, time, 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 time. Well, I got a picture of Jackson here that says you can't make a basket from six feet out. And we are speaking of Andrew Jackson, not Michael. <laughs> all right, all right. Give me the ball. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'll take a piece of that. All right. Woo! Come on, come on. Hey, I'm dying over here. Oh, I'm 
freaking dying here. Somebody, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm desperate over I'm here. I'm sorry, but I'm on my way out. Uh, wait, wait, my, my Uncle Mike, my Uncle Mike's gone. He's gone a week now, he's 66. He went out to play bocce one night. Bada bing, bada boom. He never come back, you know? Look, there's a dozen other detectives in the squad. Uh, wait, no, you gotta help me, please, okay? We're talking blood here. We're talking blood. This man is beautiful. I mean, look at him. He's a freaking prince. He also looks 20 years old. Come back when you got a more recent shot, okay? Well, wait, wait, he didn't like having his picture took. What can I tell you, you know? Look, he's my mother's brother, okay? She's destroyed. She has not cooked a meal since he left. I mean, I don't find him soon. I'll be in jink for the rest of my life, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Uh, just a few minutes. Silas. The name's Smagler. Dominic. My friends call me Smags. <laughs> so how long do you think it's gonna be until you uh until you know something? Well, it's hard to say, Mr. Patterson. We're a little short-handed right now. Where's mom? Oh, they haven't found her yet, honey, but they will. I could uh, you know, make a few calls on it, Lieutenant. Uh, excuse me a second. I thought your plate was full. What about dance for your walk? I can't do a thing till I get that file from St. Croix. Well, are you sure about this, Rock? I mean, you may have to go out into the field. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, we'll find her. Magnoli, Michael, D.O.B. 218-26. That's right. Is there any history of walking off? No, no way. Alzheimer's, any memory loss? No, I'm telling you, this is a man who could keep the entire trifecta aqueduct in his head. Okay, you can set your Rolex by this guy. What you got, Cassio? Look, this may sound a little awkward, but uh, it says right here, birthplace Palermo, Sicily. Right. Now, in cases like this, we gotta ask, is there any connection to uh, organized crime? Well, ma, che c'è? Organized crime. Ma chi sta un passo sto moglie, eh? Oh, mo, Muli? You calling me Muli? I don't play that. I'm out of here. Wait, wait, hey, wait, 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 we just use, you know? It, it, it's a figure of speech. Oh, yeah? Well, not to me. You got that? Yeah. I'm desperate over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Thanks. All right. Right. Brother. Right on. Appreciate that. Hey, Louis, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Does Joe Pesci have a brother? Caden is a very pretty name. We'll call you as soon as something comes up, Mr. Patterson. Yeah, of course. Something wrong, sir? Well, to be honest, this uh, woman that you put on the case, Officer Cruz. Yeah, what about her? Are you sure she's right for this? You see, because from what I see, she spent all her time chasing children. Look, I know that you're upset, so I'm just going to say this once. She's the best we've got. Now, she's led the league in home runs here 12 months straight. If there's anybody who's going to find your wife, sir, she can. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. Bye, Kaylee. Look, I want you to check him out first. Why? Well, for a guy who's so thrown up about his wife, he's got this funny thing about women. Check him out, full court press. All right. Hey, Rock. Yeah? You're gonna be all right on this. Trust me. Right. Jack and Maddie Patterson. I understand they were here the night of the 25th? Yeah, sure, I remember them. They're regulars. Always ran up a big bar tab. Martini drinkers. I think they served them three before dinner. Apparently they had words that night. Words? Are you kidding me? 
Glass was broken. There's a freaking war in here. It was crowded that night, but I could still hear him yelling. This goes on for five or ten minutes, and then finally she gets fed up, throws wine in his face, and just splits. She storms outside, heading towards Fifth, with Patterson right behind her. How do you know what happened outside? Hey, look, the patron goes DWI in this state, the bartender's liable. They had a car? No, it was hailing a cab. She tried to walk away, and he grabbed her. Right about there. Next thing I hear, she says, Nancy. He takes a $20 bill, flings it in the face, and says, here, take your own freaking cab. Nancy? Yeah. Then what? Then he jumps into the street, grabs a checker, and she heads east towards Fifth Avenue. And that's all I know. Hey, officer. Officer, we finished? Yeah. Yeah, we're finished. Thanks. Yo sé que es después de las ocho, pero I'm investigating a missing persons case. Y necesito hablar con el consejo. What time? Okay, I'll call when it gets out. Hey, Rock, we lost the OT in the last round of budget cuts. Go oh, on, get some sleep, will you? I wanted to work in. Joey called. Said he checked your machine, but you went home. I was restless. Besides, what's Joey doing checking up on me? Hey, come on, Rock. This guy cares about you. Yeah. Keeps coming up to the squad. And I'm not ready yet. You know, it's time for this. I mean, you can't work the kid phone forever. I know. Hey. You okay? I mean, you look a little thin. You even get enough sleep at night? Yeah, I've just been working late, that's all. You know the caseload. Yeah. Rocky, listen to me. There's not a cop who went through what you did that didn't behave the same way. It's called an avoidance response. You have a trauma, so you, you try to make it go away with, with work. I'm telling you from the heart, kid, at some point, you're going to have to deal with it. There are people missing. There's too many. We can't find them all. You said it yourself. A missing person is like an open wound. Worse than a homicide, because you just never know. OK. But sometimes we do find them. As soon as we do, there's another one lost. All right, come on. Let's move it. Russ will be here any second. OK. Keep moving along. I just want to get two more hot dogs. Hot dogs? Hot dogs. Hey, Chuck, you want a dog? Hot dog. Call me Alan. One foot long. All right. Whoa. All right, get a pet. You clean up the bus if they barf. Come on, you guys, come on, don't worry. <laughs> hey, look, it was just some joker throwing firecrackers. Here we go. Hot dogs. Uh, don't move. Hey, where's Chucky Sims? Sims. Sims. Keep going. Sims. Chucky. Chucky Sims. Chucky Sims. Chucky.
Hey, big guy. What do you have? Come here. Give that to me. Oh, there it is. Oh, Daddy's beeper. Now, honey, I told you you can't play with this because Daddy's not going to know when he gets a call. Hey, Mayor, come on. How much does the kid going to learn police work? Tell Mommy where the 107 is, Tom. Burgery. <laughs> mommy and Daddy, we got a spot safe here for them all. Right here. Hey, Lou, what's up? The intake desk called me after they couldn't get through on your beeper. <sighs> Some kid from Parkchester got lost at Coney last night. Supposed to have an IQ of a four-year-old. He's on anti-seizure drugs. Can't even defecate without help. Well, what about the harbor unit? They dragged the waters off the boardwalk all morning. The 6 -0 did a house-to-house -house within 20, 20 blocks. They got zipped. They run hospitals and work? Twice for all the dose matching the kid's description. Listen, listen, Frank. I'm sorry. I, I, I go in myself, but this scout's got my legs so bad, I can't even get off the roof. All right. Where's Marcus? Oh, he's working that old man, Fagnoli. All right, look, Lou, have Park Chester and the parents meet me down at the squad room. Yeah, and Lou, uh, have the 6 in the car, will you? You got it. Man, I got to take a run into the city. There's a little boy lost. He's retarded. Well, you're all set. You got a spare suit, two shirts, two ties, your shaving kit. You got to pick the shoes, though. You want to tell me something? Anything. How did a shanty mick like me ever pull a bell out I got so like you, eh? Mm -hmm. That's easy. You're the only Irish boy I ever met who could kiss. Yeah, Jack Patterson? You sure it was Cartier Panther? 132.50? Okay, great, thanks. I'll be by to pick up the receipt. Okay, here we go. Slice and raise for me. Sounds good for me. Guy downstairs for you. Dressing on the side, the way you like it. I've got time for lunch. Rocky, you didn't eat breakfast. So? So. So it's time for the session check. Yeah, right. Tell me about it. See those two boys? Mm. Dansby and Walker. Mm -hmm. They both disappeared from the same playground in Harlem, same time of day, three months apart back in 89. The two eight got a lead on a black market baby ring in the Virgin Islands. They even had a witness who conspired with a woman to steal another baby from the same playground in 72. So what happened? The two eight detectives went down and questioned the woman. She copped to the 72 kidnapping, but denied any knowledge of Dansby and Walker. So now it's over, right? I don't know. The one lead they had in the case that made any sense. I'm gonna check it again. Boy, you really are obsessed, aren't you? I'll tell you what. I need that file from St. Croix. You get it for me, and then uh, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll uh, what? Eat something. You know, something that doesn't come in a plastic box. You got it. Deal. I'm taking my pizza. Hey, look at the black guy over there in the beamer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. No. Did you take a wrong turn? Crown Heights is that away. What's this with the beer? Who's it, 318? I thought you people only rode El Dorado. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Give me some what? space over here. Get off the car. Frankie, get off hey, the hey. car. He's a cop. He come all the way out from my Uncle Mike, please. I love this guy. Come on. Come on, we'll get something to eat. Come on. He's with me. You get the provolone for Aunt Mary? Yeah, I got some. Come right. on. Don't worry about your car, right? It'll be washed and waxed when you're done. Well, that's uh, not really necessary. Forget about it. I'll take care of it, right? It's my mom, Philomena. Uncle Mikey's sister. Well, that's him. No. Yeah. So get the man an espresso, Dominic. No, I'm fine. Little grappas, a man said. Uh, nothing, really. All right, we'll eat first. The risotto! And uh, bring the scum chili now. Hold the salad till after. I really couldn't. My son said you would help us. I am. I will. So there's no such thing as help on an empty stomach.
You'll love the wine. It's young Pinot Grigio. Mangi. <laughs> Lieutenant. Hey, Rock, what'd you get? He charged a bottle of perfume at Bendel's on his corporate Amex. I've been over the whole apartment. She never got it. You try proving the negative. What else? Two weeks ago, he was in Chicago at the Ritz ABA meeting. Called the front desk. He asked for two keys. Yes, yeah, so? Maddie stayed home. Got a new paralegal named Nancy. Not bad, but uh, overactive libido doesn't mean homicide, right? Okay, but check this. He had a million-dollar policy on Maddie, and he just switched it from whole life to term. Bingo. See if we'll stand for a polygraph. Great. Hey, kid. Yeah? You know, I had trouble sleeping once before, too. Mary played this for me. An opera. I beats the hell out of warm milk and cookies. Thought you were Irish. So did I until I met my wife. Thanks. Yeah. Whew. And dessert is out of the question. Hey, you sure? Huh? Yes. How about a little digestif? Settle your stomach. No, no, no. I don't have a whole lot of time left. And I, uh, I know this is sensitive, but I gotta ask. It's about Uncle Mike's rap sheet. Well, it's, uh, it's extensive. <laughs> when he was young, he ran with the wrong crowd. That's all. Right. His last arrest was January for hijacking. Bum rap. They got tossed, right? We, yeah. Well, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You told me there was no connection with the mob. But I look around, I see this picture of Gotti on the wall here. What? This? That? No, no, no. That's not, that's not for Johnny boy. Come on. That's for Augie. Who? Oh? Augie, Augie, Ben Strangelo. He's a dishwasher at the, uh, Il Capri. He's here two weeks from Brindisi. And back, he hits it. Look, only in America, immigrant wins love. That's Augie. What can I say? Yeah. Forgive me. Forget about it. Sometimes a whole race of people get pegged the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Smags, uh, about those dental records, you know, in case we need to make an ID. Well, okay. There's only one thing, Uncle Mikey. Uh, he didn't trust dentists. Is there any word yet? Uh, well, not yet, sir, but we've widened the house to house search. Mrs. Sims, did you bring the pictures, ma'am? Yeah, I've got these. I'm afraid there's nothing more recent. Well, they'll be fine. Did he have his own room at the institution? Yeah. Good, I want to see it. Now, the report says that this happened once before. Chucky disappeared. Is that correct? Yeah, two years ago. His mental capacity was almost up to his age then. But there was a seizure. After that, he was just like a little boy. Look, we have four other children, and Chucky has special needs. We both work. We can't afford help. We used to have a nurse who came in for an hour every day, then they cut back on our SSI. He has to take his medicine, or he will throw a fit. You can't blame yourself for this. Is your name Jack Patterson? Yes. Are you an attorney with Bed Ross, Tucker, and Stark? Yes. Have you ever cheated on your wife? No. Once again, Mr. Patterson. All right, all right, once. In six years of marriage, with a girl at the office, and it was stupid, and I am sorry, but I did not kill my wife. I swear it, and I don't have any idea where she is. And I have never been so afraid in my life. So what happens now? We focus on her. Hundreds of women disappear from the city every year. Maybe for Maddie it was the girlfriend, but I don't think so. Why not? It wasn't enough. She wouldn't have walked out on Caitlin. Well, who's Caitlin? Her baby.
Hello, missing persons. How can I help you? What the hell's going on? Are you kidding? The missing persons. You're getting me out of here. Call and sick day has got to be Monday. You got your floaters popping up on our huts. Kids disappearing from those wine cooler Sunday outings. And you got your jumpers. What? Let's just say that weekend's what the family tend to bring out the suicide in people. Hello, Albany, I'm free. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Hey, kiddo, what's up? Matt is ATM. What happened? Really? What's your account? She's been building a kitty for hey, months. Fifty hey, here, a hundred there, walking away money. Well, how come the husband didn't notice? Maddie does the books. I figure she's got three grand plus the hundred she pulled from the ATM. Okay, then you better close it out. But, Lieutenant... You know the drill. Consenting adult. It is not a crime to take off. I can't just stop... Come on, me. Rock. It started suspicious. Now it looks like a voluntary. I'm still not sure. <sighs> Look, if Patterson wants to find her, he can hire a skip tracer. Now, you've got other cases. You've said so yourself. Give me another 48 hours. <sighs> you got 24 hours, and then I need you back on service. Yes. Why the morgue, dummy? People don't come to a morgue for good news. I don't know. And why an undertaker wife brings the best? Just in case, ma'am. In case of what case I dropped dead from the stress. Oh, no, you found him. Oh, I know it. Uh, we're not sure. They discovered a man at a Bowery hotel. He'd been locked in his room for about a week. Mother of God. The face is pretty much gone, but the man was about 65, 66, with white hair. And the thing is, he didn't have any fingerprints. Holy Mary, that's him! Oh, yeah. Who's that bird? Dr. Chernakov. He's the forensic pathologist. Chernyakov? <laughs> oh, hello. We were unable to make print identification of the Sieden. So we'll ask you here for visual ID. Huh? What the hell kind of accent is that? It's Russian. I got a freaking commie over here taking care of my mic. Oh. Orderly, orderly. Yeah, you. Uh, please to present the body now. Yeah. Come, my friends. This will only take but a moment. Prepare yourself. I can't look. You do it, Dom. Muddle. Kindly sign death certificate and we will release body to the mortician. Oh, you director. <laughs> yeah, that will be done. By the way, Mr. Samaria, yeah. I'm a call from selection. I can give you reinforced cardboard perpetual rest for a thousand, guaranteed against leaks and infestation for 90 days. Yeah. Or I can offer you burnished titanium, eternal repose, its ebony with sterling silver accessories, guaranteed for 160 years. How much? 4,900 and change. Oh, I don't know. All right, give me the one for 4,900. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Raquel Cruz. Special delivery from St. Croix. File, how'd you get it? Hey, Rock, this is Joey Burns. I still got a few teeth in my head, a few friends left in town. <laughs> uh, thanks. Sure. So listen, um, how's Friday at night? For what? Payback. Got a window taking a look at the River Cafe. The River Cafe, Joey, you're talking $200 plus wine here. Yeah, I know. I asked if I could bring my own bottle, but they said no. So how about it? Nothing out of boxes, right? Look, that was sweet what you did. And I know it hasn't been easy with me. But I got one more day on this Patterson case, and until then, I can't... Live, right, I know. Hey, listen, uh, you get lucky, you give me a call. Huh? Tranquilizers, right? Look, I don't have a lot of time. Let's get to this. Here's this room. It's okay, I can do this alone. Are you sure I'd like to be here? Well, I'm positive. 
in your medicine, having a checky. Don't make this room, pal. Not yet. person. Her bank card's gone active. Oh, then she's lying. You mind if I come in? No, uh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Come on in here. You might as well know. It's starting to look as if she might have left on her own. Daddy, what did she say about Mommy? Mommy's all right, sweetheart. She's gonna call us. I mean, she's got the money, right? So once she set us down, she'll call us, right? Yeah. Here, let me help. brown hair and blue eyes. If you think you've seen him, please call the number below. That's 1-800-T-H-E-L-O-S-T. Once again, that's 1-800-THE-LOST. All right, now we're going to hear from the usual wackos. But there's a one in 10 chance that we'll get something. That a kid is out there. I, I know it. Miss Impressions, Haggerty. Yeah. The Bronx? Are you sure? Yankee Stadium. Lower Park in the 20s wearing what? Batman tape? Yeah, right. Great, thanks. Great. See him, Rocky? She's inside, Joe. She's had a pretty bad day. Yeah, it's about to get worse. Just got a call from a buddy midtown south. What is it? Picked up a dealer named Smash Cut, a.k.a. Willie Ortiz. What about him? He's carrying this. Says a female crackhead sold it to him for a couple of files. She boosted off some woman on 58 near 5th. Even had that ATM pin number. It's written on this. What else did he say? Nothing. He, uh, he asked for a lawyer. Oh, God. That means he did her. Joey, you better call your friends at homicide. We'll get Patterson on the phone. We need dental records and x-rays. Got it. Thanks, Sergeant. I'm sorry I bothered you. Right. Double espresso, twist the line. Guess I picked the wrong time to ask about Friday night, huh? I just got off the phone to St. Croix. What'd you find? Nada. Looks like the 2-8 was right. Those little boys are still out there, and we don't have a clue. What about the Patterson case? There's still a chance she's alive, but I've gone back and double-checked all the more DOAs for the 25th. How about the public hospital-aided cases? You know, comatose injuries. Are... Every one. Check the privates? I haven't had time. I'm talking 36 hospitals here, and I have to fight every one over patient privacy. Listen, I got some time. Let me give it a shot. Exchange for that dinner, right? Whatever else comes later. No strings.
So what's the story on those two? They used to be partners. Now, hacks. It's a lot more dangerous than Vice, but she worked because of the overtime. She lived for a kid, wanted to get him out of the Bronx. You know, a little house on the island, you know? Yeah. So what happened? One night, Rocky's working undercover with Joey when a babysitter drags her son, Berto, down to see her boyfriend. It turns out the babysitter's boyfriend's a gangbanger. All of a sudden, this car turns the corner full of Spanish kings. God. They hit the little boy twice. Detective Cruz, I'm sorry to say this, but your son's been involved in the drive-by shooting. After she hears the report, Rocky breaks cover and rushes to the hospital. But it turns out it's someone's DOA. So Rocky goes nuts and takes off after the Spanish kings. Joey's right behind her and she busts down the door to their clubhouse. She's this close to drilling the shooter when he comes in and pulls her off. She wouldn't have to fire a gun. And Joey? Went to homicide. It's had a case for her ever since. You keep telling me, telling me to stay, telling me to stay. Oh, why keep on pushing, pushing you away? I have you heard anything? Well, we had 64 calls. We're still checking the leads, but nothing's panned out yet. Look, a TV reporter told us that after three days like this, there's almost no hope. Uh, look, we're desperate, Lieutenant. We just wanted to ask you if... Uh, What's that, Mr. Simpson? We got a call from a psychic. He says he's found other kids. Let me ask you something. Does he charge? Yeah. Yeah, $1,000, but we'll get a loan. We can raise it. Yeah, if my memory serves me right, the report said you people are Catholics. Yeah. Okay, then, here's what you do. You go across the street here to St. Patty's. There's a statue of St. Anthony on the right-hand side by the door. You know, the patron saint of lost things. You light a candle. You drop a buck in a poor box. I've got a feeling about your son. I checked every private hospital, half a dozen in New Jersey. There's nothing on a Maddie Patterson, anybody that fits the description of the night of the 25th. Look, I appreciate it. Okay, here those DOAs again. McIntosh, white male. Schaefer, white female. Simmons, black male. Dalton, white male. Killebrew, black female. Whoa. Jenkins, black male. What was that? Sloan, white female. Pardon, what was that? What? Killebrew? Yeah, yeah. What is I'll get it? back to you that. What? No, while I was what? going down the list of privates. Yeah, yeah. There was a killer boy admitted the night of the 25th. Yeah, so what? It was probably mine. Uh uh. This was a white female. Killer boy. Killer boy. 27, 26. Bang! The night of the 25th, uh, uh, an anti killer boy admitted yeah. comatose to St. Clair's. You, you're, you're DOA. The, 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 the black female. Where'd she go to? St. Clair's, mother of God. Jeez. Hello, St. Clair's? Detective Cruz, missing persons. Do you still have a killer boy, Annie? You do? I see you? I love you. No, no. Let me speak to you attending for the night of the 25th. Yeah. Commander Jack, what? Detective Cruz, NYPD. You admitted a woman named Killebrew to ICU on the night of the 25th? Yeah, if you say so. Look, if you don't remember, check ICU. We need a description. Hey, look, lady, you know, I'm still on my break here. Do it! Yeah, lady, I'm looking at her right now. Yeah, the patient on patient female with head injuries. How'd you make an ID on her? Did you get those belongings like I asked for? Yeah. Good, deal with this. Okay, here's inventory. Clothes, spandex, mini skirts, spike kills, moussier, purse with half dozen condoms, beeper, phone bill made out to an Annie Killebrew. Just the phone bill on her name, no photo ID? No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We got her. Let's go. Okay.
Bill, I never found Mikey looking so good. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sylvester, he did one hell of a job. Mm. All I had was this to go on. Yeah. Ma, 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 look. What? Look who's here. Yo. Detectives. I didn't think you was a make it. Which one brought it? Huh? Which one was it? Was it you? Was it you? Come here. Which one brought it? Huh? Who had the hair? Ah! Ah! Mother of God. Uncle Mike? Where the hell have you been? What? I went to the VA hospital to have my gallbladder checked. Next thing I know, the Social Security stops. I call the G, and they tell me I'm dead, morto. Uncle Mikey, my I'm so freaking glad to see you. What the hell am I saying? This freaking weight cost me 10 grand over here. I'm gonna kill you, Uncle Mikey. Dr. Vanderjack, detectives Burns and Cruz. They need to know how this happened. What do you mean? How oh, a 30-year-old architect, a wife and a mother, ends up in ICU with the name of a DOA hooker. You're kidding me, lady? She came in on the 25th. There was a six-alarm fire. We had burn victims all over the place. It was ground zero in Nagasaki that night. Come on, come on, come on. We got a bloody victim, 58 in here. Hey, we got a gunshot victim here. Hooker near the tunnel in Killebrew. Hey, let's not lose it right now. Let's not lose it. Okay, she's dilating. You're gonna have to get me a CAT scan of this. I'm gonna need six cuts to the frontal lobe. Hey, lady, can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me, lady? Maddie, it's me. Hey, lady, can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me, lady? Stay with me. Maddie, it's me. Can you hear me, Maddie? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Maddie? Can you hear me, Maddie? It's me. Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Oh, Maddie, I'm so sorry. He's been in there five hours now. You've been here six. Why'd you go home and get some sleep, Rocky? How about you have Mm -mm. I never got a chance to do this with Berta. Say goodbye. You know, I was just thinking... What's that? How we take this for granted. This miracle. That man in there? Made a thousand promises to God about what he'll do to change if he misses the bullet. And that's what I did that night in the van, screaming up to the Bronx. And Alberto was dead then. And I made so many promises. those promises before they fire the gun. Because that's when God hears you. Do you see this? Hmm. She's crying. Do you see this? She's crying. Eddie? 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 Where's Kate? She's right here. Come here. Here's Caitlin, Maddie.
what time do you think tonight? Well, I should be home right after the news, hon. I got Janie Mitchell to go one more hour with Chucky's picture. After all you've done, do you think that'll help? Uh, I don't know. I already tried St. Anthony there. All right. There's a roast in the fridge when you come. I love you, Mary. I love you, too. Now Jane Mitchell with a follow-up to that boy who's been missing from Parkchester School. Police are still searching tonight for Chucky Sims. He's the 13-year-old boy from the Parkchester School for the Developmentally Disabled who's been missing since Friday night. Chucky is 4 feet 11 with light brown hair and blue eyes. If you've seen him, please call 1-800-THE-LOST. That's 1-800-T-H-E-L-O-S-T. Mr. Parsons Haggerty. Hello? You looking for me, mister? Chucky, is that you? Yeah. Do you know where we are, son? Um... I, I don't know. Do you know how to count your numbers, Chucky? Yeah. I can count for 45. Good. Now, on the telephone in front of you, there's some numbers. I want you to read them off to me. Well, there's three fives, a nine, six, two, and then a eight. That's good. Okay, Chucky. Now, do me a favor. I want you to hold on to that telephone, and I don't want you to let it go until I get there. Okay? Okay. found him, this profoundly retarded boy who couldn't eat or go by himself. He was on the corner of 42nd Street finishing off a cheese blitz. Turns out the calls we got weren't from crackpots at all. For the past three days, Chuck E. Sims had traveled all by himself on a tour in New York by subway. The boy who couldn't survive without orderlies or drugs had done pretty well. In fact, it was a good thing we tagged this poor kid when we did. A couple of more days on his own, and he might have gotten elected mayor. You know, it wasn't too bad of a week after all. Addison found Maddie and, well, maybe they found each other. Rocky. Now well, she's starting to breathe again. And Chucky Sims is coming home from Parkchester this week. Oh, the stiff at Uncle Mike's coffin. Still a John Doe. Marcus, of course, has given up squash to sit down at Social Security and try to convince the feds and Uncle Mike, who was once dead, is now alive. Go figure that one out. You know, you win more than you lose at this game. But we all have our open cases. The ones that just sit there for months. Every once in a while, we pick them up and we work them real hard. Like this one. This is Rocky's. The strange disappearance of Christopher Dansby and Shane Walker. Two little boys taken from the same playground in 1989. Chris has got a birthmark like a figure eight on his neck. And this is what Shane might look like today. Both boys would be five years old now. Maybe you've seen them. Or know someone who has. The number to call is 1-800-T-H-E-L-O-S-T. That's 1-800-THE-LOST. We'd like to bring these kids home, folks. Help us out.